Using my Diamond FX Aqua Paint Palette for this tutorial, taking the pink shade and applying that all over my face, avoiding the eye area, a little bit of the nose area, and applying that all over, but you don't need to apply all over, which you will see why in a little bit. Taking two colored glitters, one is magenta, one is pink, but first taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray to give it some sort of uh, you know, base to stick on and then I'm drizzling the glitter from there. If you're going to do the glitter part, make sure to do it before you fill in the black areas. Now taking my eyeliner pen that I normally don't use, I'm going to be using that to trace um, the bone structure for my skeleton look. As you can see, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I'm aiming this makeup look towards a more realistic skeleton than a cartoony one. But of course, I didn't get all of my bone structures correct, so um, just throwing that out there. And of course, I was out of frame when I drew the teeth, but I just slowed it down for you guys a little bit so you can see how I drew them. And I'm just gonna let you guys watch from here so you can see how I created the bone structure, but I highly recommend a reference because I sure did need one as well. Here I am using my pen to mark where I'm going to be shading for the teeth. Now we're filling everything in. where I didn't have to color my ears pink because it's going to be black anyways, just so you guys know. And you see here, of course, I didn't have to paint my neck pink because it's going to be black anyways. The only thing that needs to be pink is the center for the pink bone. So learn from my mistakes, guys. Time for shading. I'm taking a purple eyeshadow and starting off the shading with that color around the teeth 
and then I'm switching to black to deepen the teeth um, a little bit more. And I'm just going all around my face, adding more depth, more realistic um, texture with black eyeshadow to shape. Now I mixed in a little bit of pink face paint and white face paint and using that to highlight around my face including my teeth and like cheekbone area and just to make the bone protrude a little bit more. Adding black liner to my waterline. Now I'm going to slick back my hair to finish the look. And if you guys decide to recreate this, please tag me on my social media. I would love to show you some love if you recreate this look. Till then, I'll see you in my next video.